Welcome, my friends. Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Today's project is working on the step van, and I'm trying to reposition all of my electric components for my solar and battery and house setup, everything, and moving it from the floor where it is now up into the wall. Let me show you my existing setup and what I'm planning on doing. I've just taken the cover off of my existing power box. So inside of here I have four six volt Trojan batteries. And on the back side of it, I have a bunch of components, which are really awkward to get at because they're on the back side here and I have to lean over. So I have like um, switches, I have my bus bars, I have my fuse box here. Uh, it's just a real mess. On this side I have the inverter, the solar charge controller here, and then I have an ACR, automatic charge relay, which allows me to charge the batteries here from my alternator if I need to do that. So that's the setup that I have right now. So what I want to do is take this space here and mount a box on the wall up here with all of those components except for the batteries. Originally I wanted to put the batteries underneath the frame and then run wires up so that they would be outside. However, I recently had a conversation with a friend of mine, Ron, who's going to be helping me today, and he highly recommended that I create a smaller battery box and put it inside the cab, keeping in mind that in the near future I'm going to be upgrading my lead acid batteries to lithium batteries, and he said the lithium batteries like being inside the cab a little bit better for moderate temperature, and the lithium batteries run more efficiently when they're actually inside the van rather than being mounted outside externally and it makes the wiring of everything much simpler. So, what I've done is I've created two boxes. Let me show you. I've got a little table set up here. This is the box that's going to be mounted onto the wall, and I'm going to create some doors that go on the front of this. Inside of here will be the solar charge controller, the inverter, the bus bars, and the fuse box, and probably the ACR unit. Back over here is my new battery box, which I've sealed with silicone. You can see that down there. And here's the lid that will go on top. I'm going to create a little seal that goes around that. And then this will be vented right now for my lead acid batteries. And eventually my lithium batteries will fit in here, which I've sized them to fit lithium batteries. One of the things I want to do is go in and put little uh, pieces of tape on all of the items coming out of the fuse box so I can uh, just rewire the wires in the same place they were. I'll have to shorten these, but at least I know where they go. So anyway, this is uh, slot 10 on the right-hand side, and I'm just going to run that around the wire. All right, I've got everything wired going into my fuse box here. It looks like a mess, but hopefully that'll make sense when I pull everything apart. Ron is here helping me out. You've seen Ron in a previous episode where I visited his uh, I visited his office up in the Portland area, Six Moon Designs, and Ron uh, worked at Jamie's Van Build Party doing a whole bunch of electric installs, solar installs. So he's helping me out today with rewiring my system here. The old power box is slowly coming apart. Ron is doing like 99% of the work, as you'll probably see on this little time-lapse sequence that I'm gonna put in this video. But I'm learning a lot, and uh, just basically at this point handing them tools. There's just not enough room to have two people in there working on this at the same time. And Ron told me he wants to understand exactly how everything uh, is together right now so that we can put it back together. So he's uh, opted to be the front man to do that. You can see Ron down here laying on his side underneath doing gymnastics to try to pull this apart. Up here you can see what we've done so far. There are the two bus bars that we've pulled off, the fuse boxes out, and a couple of um, large fuses, some small wires, I'm just setting things in here right now. This is not necessarily where everything's going to go, but we're going to do all our mounting and wiring here flat and get everything organized. Then we're going to lift this box with the mounted components and put it on the wall. Well, we are making some progress. This is like 99% Ron. There's just not room for both of us in there. Let me show you where we're at. We're taking a break for lunch, but I'll show you what we've done. Here you can see the inverter has been pulled out, uh, solar charge controllers pulled out, fuse boxes pulled out, both of the bus bars are pulled out, 
and fuses. We're just doing some initial positioning here inside the box, trying to figure out where everything is going to go and how they relate to each other. I'm going to try to do a real neat wiring this time, and then this box gets mounted onto the wall. And then I've got to mount the battery box here. So after lunch, I'm going to pull all of the batteries out and make this all accessible so that we can uh, pull this box out of here to put the new battery box in place. I am going to have to redrill a hole that goes through the floor here. This is for the automatic charge relay, the ACR, where it goes down but to combine the battery bank here inside the rig to the step van batteries. So this is going to have to be moved over to this side somewhere up here and into the new battery box. I just put the batteries in the new box. The new box is uh, attached to the wall and to the floor. It's looking really snug. Let me show you. Ron is hard at work here wiring up the batteries again. As you can see it's a tight fit all the way around. They're not going to move anywhere. It looks gorgeous. It's the end of the day. The sun is setting. We got a lot accomplished today but didn't finish up. Here's the new battery box. You can see all the batteries are in place and wired all together. And we're working on setting up the shunt right now, which is right here, along with a master cutoff switch, and then a battery cable that's going to connect to the negative terminal. And then we'll go out of the shunt up to the power box that's going to be mounted on the wall. Here is the power box that's going to be mounted on the wall with the inverter. There's the fuse box. Over here is the charge controller. Up there is the ACR unit. So we just need to finish uh, placing everything in here, screw it down to the plywood, and then wire all these components together. And then there will be a hole right here at this bottom corner where the cables will go down from this box that's mounted on the wall to the battery box below. And then there'll be a hole on this top corner up here where the cables will come in going from the solar panels down to the solar charge controller. So I like the way this is looking. Uh, eventually I'll have doors that will go on here. There'll be two doors with um, like expanded uh, metal, like mesh metal, so that these uh, components can breathe and you'll be able to see inside and then open them I'll open the two doors up if you need to access the inside. So it's looking pretty darn good. Today we are wiring all the electronic components, the inverter, solar charge controller, fuse box, all of that stuff inside of a new box that's going to be mounted on my wall. Let me show you what Ron's working on. Over here Ron is working away, putting in the new fuse box in its new location, bus bars down here which have been mounted, and the inverter over on the side. This morning I put a piece of angle aluminum along the bottom there that will act as a lip on the bottom to hold this box against the wall and of course it'll be screwed in all the way around this perimeter where that furring strip goes around. You want to add any comments Ron? Good morning from Yuma. <laughs> it is actually a beautiful day with no wind which is really nice and warm. Yesterday was just freezing cold blasting wind coming through here really miserable which is part of why we chose to do the electric install yesterday, pulling apart everything inside the step van, staying inside most of the day. But today, it's absolutely gorgeous out. We're trying to finish things up and get my power back online. We are getting very close to mounting the box on the wall right now. We have the inverter mounted and wired. We have the fuse box mounted and wired. We have the solar charge controller mounted and wired. And uh, we think we're probably ready to put it up on the wall. Well, I sort of messed up. I set up the camera where you see now in order to capture the shot of putting the box on the wall over here, but I forgot to turn it on because Ron and I were discussing exactly how we were going to carry it over, who was going to carry which side, and which order we were going to put the screws in, all that kind of stuff. And when we got through all of that, I forgot to hit record, so it lifted the box, mounted it on the wall. It was only afterwards I realized. So anyway, let me show you what it looks like. Still got a little bit of wiring to do here. Put a few items into the fuse box here. Put the cover on. Put the cover on the solar charge controller. And then we still have to run the wires down to the battery box below uh, from that corner there. It's going to go up and then into the bottom corner here. You can see there's a hole. The sun is setting. I've been working hard the last couple of hours doing all the wiring. After Ron and I mounted the box on the wall here, uh, Ron did a couple other things and then he basically took the rest of the afternoon off 
and I've spent the last two or three hours doing all the wiring to the fuse box myself. Let me show you what I did as far as my part of this project. And I do want to give Ron full credit here. He did about 95% of everything here. Um, I did just a little bit, building both of the boxes, that was me, and then uh, wiring everything for the fuse box, that's also my doing. Here is the fuse box, all sort of nice and neat, all the little wires going off to this side, tracing up here and across and up and out of the hole, and on the other side. It's looking really clean, everything's working, solar charge con controllers working, no solar right now because the sun's going down, inverters working, um, all of the lights are working, USBs, everything. I didn't get any power today for my solar panels because I turned them on just as the sun was uh, going down. So I've got 12.1 volts, but tomorrow I think I'll have full voltage. And it is looking good. So that's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment, and I'll see you next episode. <music>